Aaron Yost returns to KPAX Friday at 530. Ray leads this morning's headlines along with your weather on the 8th and it all starts now on Montana This Morning. Fair, accurate, to the point. This is Montana This Morning on Montana's news station. Welcome everyone to Montana This Morning on this Friday morning. I'm Angela Marshall. Reporting you can trust with Angela Marshall and Robin O'Day. Plus storm tracker weather with Russ Thomas. This is Montana This Morning on KAJ. Fair, accurate, to the point. Look fair, accurate, to the point. The 530 News on KPAX starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Jill Valley. Mike Powers is on assignment. We start tonight's newscast with a crash involving a school bus that happened right outside our studios along Stevens Avenue and South 6th Street. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. Officials tell us the bus was traveling west on South 6th and a Honda SUV was traveling north on Stevens. One of the cars failed to yield and the bus hit the side of the Honda, causing it to roll over. Just one student was inside the bus along with the driver. They there, accurate to the point. The 530 News starts right now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Robbie Reynolds. Clouds and, clouds and rain has invaded the Memorial Day weekend across western Montana. People hoping for sunny weather over the holiday were disappointed today as showers came down throughout the afternoon. But as we moved into the early evening, it started to look a little more clear outside. Now, if you're planning ahead for the holiday weekend, Chief Meteorologist Aaron Yost is here to help you out. Aaron, what can we expect in the near future? You know, we are going to continue to see this threat for some afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms, but uh, today was as expected. We did see a little bit of sunshine, but uh, for a lot of us in the southwest part of the state, a little bit more cloud cover. Fair, accurate, to the point. The 10 o'clock news starts now on KAJ, Montana's news station. Good evening, thanks for choosing KEJ. I'm Andrea Lee. You may have noticed some smoke lingering into the flooded valley. Fair, accurate, to the point. The 10 o'clock news starts now on KAJ, Montana's news station. Good evening, Flathead Valley. Thanks for joining. Complete sports coverage starts now on Montana's news station. Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on KPAX, Montana's news leader. Good evening, I'm Jill Valley. And I'm Dennis Bragg. We have another winter storm headed our way this evening that's capable of laying down some heavy snow in western Montana. And You're watching MTN News with Jill Valley and Dennis Bragg. Storm Tracker Weather with Aaron Yost and Sports with Derek Berkeley. This is the 530 News on KPAX, Montana's news leader. Powered by the Montana Television Network, the 530 News continues on KPAX, Montana's news leader. If you've lived in the Northwest any time at all, it's likely you have a backpack or two, maybe some treasured hiking boots, sleeping bags, or cross-country skis in storage. I'm guilty of all that, but what you probably don't realize is how all that gear is a growing part of our legacy. And the a man accused of shooting an Idaho pastor is caught near the White House. Plus, Montana's bison management could see some serious changes in the near future. And IHOP serving up a sweet deal today to benefit Montana kids. Powered by the Montana Television Network. The KPAX 10 o'clock news starts right now in high definition. Good evening, I'm Jill Valley. And I'm Dennis Bragg. The suspect in the weekend shooting of a pastor in North Idaho was arrested this evening in Washington, D.C. Yeah, Kootenai County authorities announced in a news conference that Kyle Odom was arrested by the Secret Service. They say he was throwing suspicious items over the south fence of the White House. Now, the FBI also on the scene assisting with the criminal investigation working to... Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on KAJ, Montana's news leader. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Don Fisher. A Florida man is dead after a medical event while he was snowshoeing during a visit to Glacier National Park. Authorities say that the park dispatch received a call from a commercial guide on Tuesday afternoon that a client had collapsed while walking along the Fish Creek Road. Powered by the Montana Television Network. The 530 News continues on KAJ, Montana's news leader. 
Montana has some of the nation's lowest crime rates, but our correctional system continues to grow in size and cost. This year, the legislature enacted a sweeping set of laws designed to take a step in a different direction. In a four-part series starting tonight, MTN's Mike Dennison and Mackenzie Frost examine this ambitious move to downsize Montana's correctional system. Montana has 15,000 criminal offenders under its... Kalispell area school students forced to stay home again today because of an ongoing investigation into threats made to the school. Work begins on getting the damaged Speary Chalet ready for winter. And a, Calif a California man accused of killing a Broadwater County Sheriff's deputy has his charges amended. Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 10 o'clock news on KAJ, Montana's news leader. Good evening, I'm Don Fisher. Most schools across the Flathead Valley were closed for the second day in a row as the investigation into a series of threats to the area schools continue. Suicide prevention, the focus at the annual Women's Fair here in Missoula. Missoula Restaurant aids in the fight against childhood hunger and how to be bear aware this spring, protecting yourself in case of an encounter. Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on KPAX, Montana's news leader. Good evening, I'm Kent Lutzen. It's considerably mild weekend compared to the last few Mother Nature has thrown our way. We saw some blue skies, warmer daytime temperatures. However, waking up tomorrow morning, that could all change. So, with A Lincoln County man is identified as Montana's first COVID-19 death. What the governor's stay-at-home order means for Missoulians. I'm Martin Sue, and tonight I'll introduce you to a Eureka Robotics teacher who's using a 3D printer to create N95 masks. Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News with Jill Valley. Good evening. A Lincoln County resident and former educator has been identified as the first COVID-19 death in Montana, which Governor Steve Bullock announced last night. He is 77-year-old Jim Tomlin, a retired Washington State teacher who died from complications of the novel coronavirus yesterday afternoon in a Kalispell hospital. Tomlin's son, Scott, tells us his father had developed a cough last weekend while on vacation. The Darby School Board suspends its football coach. Missoula's health officer addresses the county spread in COVID cases. And the Supreme Court strikes down Montana's ban on aid to religious schools. Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 10 o'clock news on KPAX, Montana's news leader. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dennis Bragg back in the home studio tonight. And I'm Jill Valley. Tonight, a homicide investigation continues in northwest Montana after four people were found dead this morning. In no more Russell Street Bridge construction. A project years in the making is now complete. We'll hear from a Missoula business owner on why they're closing their doors after 50 plus successful years. I'm Marin Sue, and in tonight's Rebound, I'll take you inside of the Big Fork Summer Playhouse to show you what they're doing differently this year because of the coronavirus. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 530 News. Good evening, I'm Jill Valley. Authorities still asking for the public's help in the arson and homicide investigation into an apartment fire in Corvallis that killed three people earlier this week. It was just after two in the morning Monday, fire crews responded to reports of an apartment complex on fire on Main Street. The Ravalli County Sheriff's Office tells us today three people. An apartment fire in Corvallis is now an arson and homicide case. The trial now set for the Troy man who's accused of lighting a dog on fire. And coronavirus cases continue to rise in Montana and across the country. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 10 o'clock news. Good evening, I'm Jill Valley. Dennis Bragg is off tonight. An apartment fire in Corvallis that killed three people early this morning, now being investigated as an arson and homicide case. Shortly after two o'clock this morning, fire crews responded to reports of an apartment complex on fire on Main Street. The Ravalli County Sheriff's Office says three adults were killed. They have been positively identified. However, their names are not being released publicly at this time. One woman was taken to the hospital with significant burns and injuries from jumping from a second story window to escape. Investigators worked throughout the day and the origins of the fire were discovered today. 
Arson is suspected at this point, and again, the incident is being treated as a homicide investigation. It's game day on KPAX, brought to you by Blackfoot Telecommunications Group.